Hey everybody, John with Freshwater Systems here. And in our ongoing series of answering frequently asked questions, today we're gonna to talk about Rusco spin down in sediment trapper filters. What is a spin down filter? Well, a spin down filter is really geared to capture large particulate. Things like sand, things like rust chunks from a decomposing well. Um, it's really geared and designed to do what I call the heavy lifting. Not like a real fine micron sediment filter, a spin down is really designed to get big chunks, big debris and sand. How does a spin down filter work? Well, a spin down filter works by using centrifugal force. The design of the head diverts water into the chamber in a fashion that circulates the water through this, the housing. And in that centrifugal force, the dirt and debris is literally pushed to the outside of the clear housing. And then it's allowed to settle down into the bottom. And then with the use of the valve, periodically, you open this up and allow that collected debris to, to exit. And where you put this, it could be, uh, anywhere, it could be in your yard for that matter, but you're going to release all of that dirt and debris from the housing. And that's in effect how a spin down works. What is a sediment trapper and how does it work? Well, the, the concept of the head and the housing is identical. The sediment trapper varies from the spin down in the fact that you've got more capacity for accumulating debris. So you'd want to use a sediment trapper when you have a lot of debris and you don't want to have to be opening that valve to blow it down as frequently. So the difference on the larger diameter pipe size units is the filter itself. Um, this stem fits right into the housing, kind of like this, but the filter for the spin down would be the whole length, something like this. So the stem allows a lot more dirt and debris to accumulate in the bottom than this one. How do you install a spin down or sediment trapper? Well, the, the head goes on to the plumbing and the, the type of connection is going to be based upon the size of the head. For example, three quarter inch is the only threaded version that you can get. One inch, one and a half inch, and two inch heads are slip. So that would be a, um, a glue and solvent type connection on, uh, on PVC pipe. Uh, typically the location of that installation is going to be probably the first thing after the pressure tank on a well system and it might be the first thing into a, a household system where maybe there's a, it's an old, old place and you get a lot of debris out of the city water supply. You would want this to be the very first thing that uh, the first filter in a water treatment plan on either um, type of application. What do spin downs and sediment trappers remove from the water? All that they're going to do and all that they can remove is sediments. Um, there's a variety of screen mesh. And, and by the way, a mesh is how many holes, like a screen door, but how many openings are in a square inch. So a mesh for this one is a thousand mesh. That means there's a thousand small holes in one square inch of material. That relates to being about 15 microns. And we go all the way up to a 40 mesh, which is a lot closer to that screen door, and it's, it's up in the 100 microns. So the difference is what kind of debris you're dealing with and what kind of mesh screen you're going to need to make the two work together well. Sometimes you may have to experiment with a different mesh size to capture the kind of debris that you're, you're looking for. But at the end of the day, the only thing that these things can take out of the water is particulate. How do you clean a spin down filter? Well, the, every so often, and just like any water treatment uh, device, you're going to have to provide a little maintenance from time to time. And on occasion, you might have uh, the type of debris that would absolutely clog the screen, and then you got to clean it. Um, 
if you're clogging the screen a lot, that might be a good indication that you don't have the right mesh size um, and you need additional filtration. But ultimately, you're going to take the housing off, you're going to take the screen out, and, and this is poly, uh, uh, polypropylene uh, mesh. There's also stainless steel available. And you just scrub it off and uh, uh, use a brush and scrub it off and then put it back together. If you don't get uh, uh, the flow rate restored, you may have to replace the screen. What size unit should I buy and what mesh screen should I use? Well, the answer to that question is twofold based upon your existing conditions. These are sized based upon the plumbing size. So if you've got a three quarter inch line that you're going to hang this on, then of course you're going to get a three quarter inch cap. Um, they also come in inch and a half, or inch, inch and a half, and two inch. And it's all based upon the plumbing size. The size mesh that's right for you is going to be determined by what kind of debris or particulate you're trying to get out. Um, this one I mentioned was a thousand mesh or 15 micron. That would be an unusual uh, size to use in a spin down because 15 micron is pretty small when you consider a human hair is 75 to 80 microns in diameter. So the, the kind of the design of these things is to get out the big stuff. And then afterwards you might need to put a smaller micron type filter for the real tiny stuff. But on occasion, it does make sense that a 15 micron mesh screen would work well in a spin down style filter housing. Why did I lose pressure after installing a spin down filter? Well, losing pressure after an installation could mean a couple of things. Maybe we didn't have a lot of pressure or flow to begin with, and the little bit of restriction that happens in a, in a filter housing, any type of filter, is going to reduce flow rate slightly, maybe even have a little bit of pressure loss, but typically not significant. So if you experience a large pressure loss on installation, something's up, either with the way you installed it, or there's something in the water that immediately clogged the screen. It could be a number of things, but typically pressure drop and flow loss on a new installation is, is marginal. It's not much at all. Who is Rusco Inc? Well, Rusco Inc is the folks that came up with the design. They manufacture the products. You might even find them in the marketplace as ViewFlow. Uh, pretty much the same thing. The only difference is the logo on the head. A couple more things I'd like to tell you about Rusco, and that's the variety of options that are available. Uh, there's Ruscos that uh, will handle hot water. Uh, obviously, you need a little bit different head for the hot temperatures. The, uh, the body is, is geared for hot temperatures. This is also a chemically resistant uh, um, cover, they call it. That's the clear part. Uh, so if you're filtering out um, other things besides just water that might have some chemical content to it, then you would want something like this. The chemical resistant head uh, will fit on some of the normal sizes. Uh, the other option that comes with the Ruscos is this combo uh, type T, where water flow typically goes in one end and out the other. Uh, with this type of an adapter, um, I can change the direction of flow up out of the filter. So it just gives you some easier installation options if that's the way you want to hook it up. Also available is an automatic flush valve so if you have a, an installation where you're accumulating enough that you might have to very frequently open the, the flush port to clear the housing, well, the automatic flush valve can be set um, to do it automatically, periodically, and it goes anywhere from every five minutes to every 24 hours. And this is a handy application in that spot where, gosh, I keep running out to empty that valve off this would enable it to just kind of chug along and every so often dump the, the accumulation. That's all I've got for you today. Be sure and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check us out on our website, freshwatersystems.com.